On one hand, you have Eric Erickson of Red State and CNN saying the elections are relevant because uh, God reigns all and we're all going to heaven, except for, of course, I imagine there's an asterisk there, the Jews and the Muslims, but uh, be that as it may. Um, meanwhile, on Fox and Friends, when they're not saying the words Benghazi, apparently, they're questioning not whether or not the uh, Hurricane Sandy will will cost Mitt Romney the election in some type of weird thing, but rather the nefarious plot to raise money and provide relief for victims of Hurricane Sandy is in fact, of course, a plot to get Obama elected. Well, is this more political? Is this more, let's get this thing on TV before the election to, to make President Obama look presidential? Or is it more for, for to help out victims? It does look like they are trying to squeeze things in. Uh, keep in mind, there you got Bon Jovi. Pause it for one second. It does look like they're trying to squeeze things in. I'm not sure I understand what that douchey comment, Steve, douchey, com douchey <laughs> comment means. But uh, just go back just a hair because you've got to hear this. Remember, folks, the site of biggest devastation, probably New Jersey. So maybe Ducey is not making the connection with this sort of vague charge. And there you got Bon Jovi and uh, Bruce Springsteen, uh, both supported the President of the United States, uh, Barack Obama, and in fact, uh, Mr. Springsteen, I believe, has uh, been traveling with the President of the United States. Why would Bon Jovi and Bruce Springsteen be involved so heavily in relief for a hurricane that hit New Jersey. I, I can't think of a reason. Fascinating. Did you notice how he said Mr. Springsteen? Like this was a new performer, mm, sort of fresh Mr. on the scene. Who is yeah. this guy? Uh, where are the conservative performers? Yeah. The, there aren't any on the list I saw. Now, were this reversed, you know what? Steve Ducey would say, these conservatives must not believe in hurricane relief. All right? I mean, if it had been the opposite, they would have said, like, these liberals, this is another example of, I guess, liberals just are too busy you with know, their I schedule. Could, I could think of three conservative performers off the top of my head. Uh, Ted Nugent, Kid Rock, Meatloaf. They're all on the trail with Mitt Romney. Ah. Now, remember last time uh, when NBC did the event for uh, Katrina, right. uh, do you remember uh, Kanye West where he said George Bush doesn't care about black people? And Mike Myers standing right next to him and had that shocked look on his face. How's NBC going to, uh, you know, that's the picture right there. But the point is, how's NBC uh, going to control what the, the people the, say? The last one for Hurricane Katrina, I'm sorry, Gretchen, was 10 days after. It, the, the, uh, at least, at least, or maybe, maybe it was 9-11. It was 9-11. It was 10 days after. It let the city get its feet under itself Wait, first. Before so it's 9-11, 10, 10 days after Hurricane Katrina. One, of, one relief thing was later than the other, is what I think Eric Bowling is trying to say there. And somehow, we all know the, what, what is going on with President Obama. And, you know, we know what happened with Kanye West, so... I was surprised to even remember 9-11 this time around. Right. Before they went to, to this, this just seems like a rush job because the election is uh, you know, going to be three days after that. Is it a hurricane benefit or a concert for Obama? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Mm, let's hold off. Let's not uh, get any relief. No blankets until after the election, folks. We wouldn't want this to be perceived as some type of, like, Obama blanket. All blankets must be red. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable, these guys. They're just, they're just, they're just insane.